What's up, my friends? It's the 4K Lowdown, and I'm coming to you with my first episode of Mystery Movie Monday. Uh, our local Regal Cinema here, uh, well, it's about an hour from me, but they are doing a Mystery Movie Monday where they're offering a movie for $5 a ticket, and it's a movie that hasn't come out yet. The only thing is you have no idea what it is. You just kind of a grab bag. Um, you're not going to get anything that's like a major deal coming out or anything like that, but chances are, you know, it's something that's pretty decent. So, so far this year, I've seen movies like paint mafia, mama champions and things like that. So for the most part, I've been pretty pleased. So I thought maybe I would start doing an out of theater review for these mystery movie Mondays. And this is my first episode. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Do me a favor, like, and subscribe. Love to see that. Turn your notifications on so you can get more content like this. Um, but let me know what you think of this idea. So um, the movie I watched tonight is called Sisu. And Sisu is a movie made in Finland, um, directed by Yelmari Elander, starring Jorma Tomila, Axel Henny, and Jack Doolin. Um, genre would be action, and the type of movie is a war movie because it's set in World War II. And I'll read a brief synopsis at this point. Basically, it says, when an ex-soldier who discovers gold in the Lapland wilderness tries to take the loot to, into the city, Nazi soldiers led by a brutal SS officer battle him. So that kind of gives you a basic idea. I really like this movie. It had um, it had grit to it. the 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 way the cinematography was done, it was grainy, and it was it was visceral and it was dirty. I I really enjoyed that. It played music wise and kind of the way they did it with um, with the going from chapter to chapter. Uh, it was like, it was like one of those old spaghetti Westerns and that made it kind of, that made it really enjoyable, but it is brutal as hell, violent, um, explosions, gunfire, all that good stuff. And in the midst of that, you got this one guy played by Yorma Tamila, who's this one ex- soldier who's just trying to get cash for his gold and the Nazis are trying to get the gold from him. Um, it's, it's really kind of a basic thing, but it's definitely worth seeing you guys. So hopefully you guys can check it out. Um, so I'm going to go to the scores at this point. And while I'm doing the scores, I'm going to show some pictures that I have of the movie. So hopefully you guys like that, but Basically, um, scoring it as a genre-specific movie, so I'm scoring it as an action movie and a war type. Start off with the basic five. Cast, acting, plot, ending, story. So cast is basically about recognition. Since the movie was made in Finland, most of the actors are Finnish or German, or there was only one person I recognized, but because the movie's made in Finland and the general movie is in Finnish, I, you know, I give it an automatic four for the cast. And then there was one person I recognized, but I couldn't tell you his name. Um, but he was in the Martian. It was, it was actual Axel Henny. Um, I didn't know his name at the time, but, um, but he was in the Martian, he was in Hercules with the rock, things like that. So you'll recognize them when you see them. Um, so that means the cast gets a five acting was solid. Um, there's very, there's very little dialogue in a lot of this movie. So it's a lot of emotion and eye contact and body language and things like that. So I really enjoyed that. I gave the acting an eight. Plot. This is 
reading the synopsis and then watching the trailer, how likely would I be to watch the movie? And this was one of my honorable mentions of movies that I wanted to see this year. So I was really glad to actually get a hold of this and, and watch it in the theater. So I gave the plot a nine because it looks great. The trailer is awesome. It should hook you right in. The ending, the ending felt a little flat. Not bad. I gave the ending a six. The story, absolutely love the story. It's very simplistic, not complicated. It does exactly what it wants to do. I gave the story a 10, thought that was a masterful job. So that's the first five categories. Now we're talking for the genre. As an action movie, I look at violence, the pace, and the special effects. Violence is a 10 across the board. As with the explosions are great. The gunfire is awesome. The action is great. It, it was amazing. There's a couple of a couple of hokey spots where okay, if you know anything about anything, it's not believable, but I don't care. Four color universe, it was brutal. Loved it. Violence is a 10. Pace of the film, the pace is good. There's a couple of slow spots, but it does not, it doesn't drag. So I gave the pace a solid eight out of ten. And now to the special effects. The special effects were awesome. No CGI in this that I could see. This was all practical effects. I gave it a 10. It was it was awesome. Really good stuff. Now, the last two aspects that we're looking for is based on the war type. So I want to know how the war aspects are on a scale of 1 to 10. And then how intense the movie is. Because when you're dealing with a war movie, you want intensity. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I gave the war aspects a 7. Because the movie kind of takes place at the end of World War II. There's no real like major battles going on or anything like that. It's just kind of, you know, Nazis versus one dude. So still soldiers, still doing stuff. There were still aspects of the war that you get. But it's not full on like Saving Private Ryan. So the war aspects get a seven. The intensity, I gave it a nine. It was very intense, white knuckling in several spots. Not a perfect 10 though. Like I said, there were a couple little little slow spots, but justifiably so. So I gave the intensity a nine. So we total that up. And you know how I like to do my math. As an action war movie, Sisu gets an 82 out of 100. That is a solid B, you guys. So I really liked it. I can't wait for a physical release. I'll, I'll snatch that thing up right away. It plays really well. It's something I would watch multiple times. So hopefully you guys get a chance to see it. Is it necessary to see in the theater? I don't think so. I think you can wait for a digital release or a physical release. But if you get the chance to see it in the theater for a good price, it's definitely worth a shot. Um, if you like seeing it in the theater, I would definitely do so. Um, it's, it's really good. I think, I think you guys will enjoy it. If you're any fan of war movies, um, and you don't mind foreign movies, they do dub it in English, at least for the most part. So you don't have to worry about a lot of that, but um, yeah, no, I loved it. I thought, I thought it was really good. One of my, my favorite mystery movie so far this year. So that's it. You guys, Sisu gets an 82 out of a hundred. Again, please like, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of this. I'm going to do more of these as we go. Um, until next time, hopefully I'll see you at the movies. Take care.